Hey, what is up, y'all? It is Brimanon, and this is my official speedrun for Minecraft. That's right, I did a Minecraft speedrun. I think, you know, I'm not entirely sure, but I think I might have broken a world record or two. I'm not entirely sure yet. But this is me breaking it down. I'm going to include the original clip at the end. If y'all want me to do this again, just let me know down in the comments below, because I feel like I could really improve on my time for this. Um, I'm not sure how y'all feel about it, but hey, just let me know. So, at the start, you know, loading in, I had a feeling that I would get incredibly lucky, right? I just had, like, that gut feeling, you know, that this was the world. I put bonus chest on, or start off chest, whatever the heck you want to call it. I put that on, so if you consider that cheating, then yeah, I cheated, but I put it on. I really don't care if you think it's cheating, because I don't care about your opinions. Um, yeah. But, so I put bonus chest on, and as you can see from the bonus chest, I got incredibly lucky, you know. Fully enchanted netherite armor, an enchanted sword, enchanted bow with arrows, golden apples, all sorts of good stuff. So I got incredibly lucky from this chest, you know. I didn't expect the chest to be like that at all. I expected the chest to, you know, just be some saplings, a wooden axe or something. But I got incredibly lucky with this chest, so I, I don't know if it can happen again, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think a chest like that, at least a start off chest, will ever happen again. But I got incredibly lucky on that, that's for sure. So then we play. And as you can see, I get all the things. Now, now that I think about it, there are some things that I could have left behind, such as some of the cobblestone, maybe, at least one of them. Uh, for sure, I could have left the shield behind. I didn't use that one at all. The Eye of Ender, too, because as you'll see, I find the portal very quickly. But yeah, especially along with the water bucket. But I'll, I'll explain all that more later on but I could have left some stuff behind so I already know I could have shaved off some set time right there so continuing along as you can see I spot the nether portal right in front of me once again in, not the nether portal the end portal my bad y'all once again an incredible stroke of luck honestly I got incredibly lucky here you know the fact that it wasn't in a fortress kind of surprised me to be quite honest but I mean hey I ain't the one to complain so the end portal was right there, so I ran right over to it. Good stuff. As you all can see, however, I took the time to put on my armor and get my bow ready. Which I feel like I really didn't need to do. Hindsight, maybe just like a chest plate and leggings, something like that. I'll think about that next time for sure. I need to come up with a list on all the ways I can shave off. But anyways, I jump into the portal. It had all the eyes in it already, which is incredibly lucky. Y'all have no idea how lucky I got. This is some next level luck right here. Hop into the portal, spawn in. So, this is another time where, pl place where I could have shaved some time off. I go to the Eye of Ender and try and throw that up on the place instead of the Ender Pearl. Because, uh, you know, when you throw an Ender Pearl, you can teleport with it. However, I went to the Eye of Ender and then actually checked my inventory. Definitely could have saved some time there if I had just gone straight to the Ender Pearl to throw up to the actual like end area from the spawn place so throw that up I spawn in and I'm incredibly lucky in this speed and I cannot say that enough you know I got so lucky um the dragon all of the crystals were already destroyed and the dragon was one hit believe it or not so that's some more incredible luck right there I don't know if I'm ever gonna get it again I don't know if anyone will ever get it again but you know, the amount of luck that I had on this speedrun that just all manifested into like one shining moment. It's like absolutely insane, quite honestly. So this is definitely, definitely for sure the spot where I could shave off some time. So as you can see, I run up to the dragon, but not run up to the dragon, but run up and attempt to shoot it with a bow. I actually missed my first couple of shots, so I keep trying. And this is definitely an area where I could have improved my time. For the first reason, it took me a little bit to realize this. And I almost wanted to redo it, but I figured I was never going to get that lucky with, you know, the bonus chest, with the dragon being that low, with the portal being that close to me. I figured I would never get that lucky again, so I decided to just go for it. Anyways, you can't actually shoot the dragon with the bow, with a bow, when he's down, like, over the end portal thingy. You have to run up and hit him with the sword. I didn't realize that. I kept trying to shoot him with a bow. And when I finally realized, like, hey, these arrows aren't hitting, I recognized that I had to run up and shoot him with a sword. Or shoot him with a sword. Gosh, darn y'all. Um, hit him with the sword to finally kill him. So that's good stuff right there. And that is the end of the speedrun right there. 
Um, definitely could do some things better. Um, for starters, you know, I, I just really did awful on that speed run, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. I could have done so much better there. But let's see. If we can get six likes on this video, I will do a part two and try and improve on all of my mistakes, which I hope you all would enjoy a lot. So like the video. And if we can get 10 likes, I will do a legitimate speed run. Because this is obviously a joke. I am better than Dream at Minecraft, so yes.